This project is sponsored by Technor Apex, maker of the Zero-G hose, the hose that takes the work out of yard work. Okay. I'll do it. I don't want this to crush your toes or anything. Watch yourself. Just stand back for a second. Let me loosen some of these up. We're going to just clean this area up, and lay down. square it off. See that grass over there? That's called sod. And uh, once we get this nice and level, we'll put some new topsoil in here and put the sod down. Okay, well that was kind of a fun Saturday kind of a project. I've been thinking about moving that pot for a while. That was what we used as a, uh, uh, a fire pit or burning barrel. And uh, my son Michael and I put that there probably close to 10 years ago or maybe even longer. I have a picture of him working with me at a broken arm at the time. Anyway, um, this fire pot never really worked very well because the oxygen just couldn't get into the fire. And about a year ago, the boys built a bigger fire pit closer to the edge of the woods, so we decided to finally get rid of it. And I'm going to end up turning this into a planter. This is just something that was in the woods when we moved into the house 20 years ago. Um, so anyway, I'm going to use it now as a planter. I've got the 4x4s four over there. I'll build a little pedestal for the planter, and uh, I'm going to put them over by the beehives, which I'm turning into planters too. Two of the beehives I'm turning into planters because I'm still keeping bee, I'm still keeping bees, but I'm not keeping them on my property and I'm not keeping them in top bar hives. One of the top bar hives I'll keep for uh, a beehive because I plan on trying it again in the top bars next year. So anyway, uh, like I said, it's a fun project. I like doing those little projects where you can start and finish and have it all wrapped up in one day and working with sod 
uh, is I think fun on on little projects like that and it's not too expensive I bought the sod at Home Depot and I think each piece was about five dollars so um, it was worth it to kind of just have it all said and done you probably noticed I'm doing a lot of kind of home improvement projects lately uh, and that's because I'm trying to wrap up all these little projects that I've been putting off and all these little things just kind of have to get done so uh, that's one of them I've got another video coming up on uh, painting outdoor furniture I've got uh, a deck I'm building for my shed I'll be hopefully posting that video in about two or three weeks the cool thing about that project is it is sponsored by zoom tech and uh, they make a, a really nice composite decking made with recycled plastic and bamboo and they've got a, a really neat fastener one that you want an invisible fastener and so i'll go into that more as i start to build the deck and then once i get all these little projects behind me i'm hoping to get back in the shop because i've got some fun furniture builds coming up hope you enjoyed this video thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time i was just looking at the video and realized i wasn't very clear about what's going on with the bees i'm keeping bees with my friends Mike and Steve. Steve has a farm and Mike happens to be a really good beekeeper, at least better than me and Steve. And he's more into it. I bring some carpentry skills to the table. I'll probably make a table for uh, holding the, the spinner for when we harvest the honey. And um, we're hoping to get a lot of honey this year. We've got eight hives and uh, I will probably make one or two beekeeping videos. Let me know if you want to see those. I don't do that as much anymore, but I'm still keeping bees and I like it and it's great to get the honey. And um, I'm hoping that this year will be really successful. So this is where the planter will go and I'll be working on that project tomorrow and hopefully uh, the video will be up pretty soon. All right guys, I'll see you later.